Yes, you're going live, man. <laughs> live in the place, boy. Mm. Chill, brother. Give thanks, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta build up the line. Right? Or this is gonna be like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. We're going to build up the life because we have something to tell all about black people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you understand? Mm -hmm. <laughs> black people. Build up the life, build up the life, build up the life. Build up the life because we, I'm going to quote today what a doctor mm -hmm. said on CNN. And I wrote it down in my book mm -hmm. to let black people know. All right. To let black people know. I, I, I always tell, tell people, I love all people. I love everybody because God make every one of us. You understand? But I have a special love for my people. Ain't nothing wrong with that. So, black people is the one who dying the most with this kind of so-called pandemic and pandemic. Pandemic. Mm -hmm. Another pandemic coming again. All right, black people, you all have to listen because you, we are down in the bottom of the barrel. You understand? And when we're coming up, some of us pull each other back down. So I'm telling, telling you all, they said to them CNN, I'm going to quote it for you all because I want to like to build up so you all could understand what I'm saying. Yeah? Then we're going to talk about parasites and bacteria and fungi and, 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 and um, viruses. Huh? First man. He don't do. I want all you to build up the life. Build it up. Yeah, build up the life. Hear me tell all you right, black people. There was a, a doctor on CNN today. And they asked the doctor. And she's a known contributor on medical health on CNN. They asked this doctor. Maybe they might, they might re broadcast re 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 again tonight. They ask her, mm -hmm. the doctor that is, why is black people, African people, or African Americans, African Grenadian, mm -hmm. African Jamaicans, <coughs> African Barbadians, African Guyanese, why are they dying more in this, what, we, what they call the pandemic? I have a different name for that anyway. You know what she said? She said black people are not taken seriously when they go to a doctor. That's what she said. I didn't say that. That's what she said. She said black people are not taken seriously when they go to a doctor and then the doctor tell them that the problem that they have mm -hmm. is in their mind. So they don't go back. I don't know how she know that. What I'm saying. That's the first thing she said. She said. Black people. Are dying the most. From this so-called disease. Or this so-called virus. Because they have more diseases. In the black community. Than in the white community. She said they have more diseases in the black community than in the white community. Our food chain is different. She also said that black people are dying more from this demic because black people have lots of diabetes. And she also said, which is true, and she also said black people is dying more from this demic because black people is full of kidney disease and full of kidney failure. You follow? You know? Hmm. I don't want I I I to shed no tears yet. You know what I mean? But I know for a fact that it is a disrespect to our people. You understand when they have us in the bottom of the barrel? She also said that because of the environment 
that we black people living mm -hmm. in, it is much more worse than so-called Caucasian people or so-called white people. And that is why we, black people, she says, won't die more between now and January, when the weather's getting colder. But I'm teaching black people every day. I come to you first before I go to anybody else. You understand? You know what I mean? When the, the so-called Christians tell you that Christ went to the, to the so-called Jews first, he didn't go to the so-called Gentiles, yeah, he went to his people first. And after they were taught, they move on. I come to you first. Because she said today that we black people are going to die the most. Because we have more diseases than, than, other, than other people. Because we are on the bottom of the, on the, bottom of the barrel. We live in, in the hood. We don't have no health care. We don't have no so-called insurance. You understand? Now that's the reason why I want to do this video tonight. Because I'm telling you all that you all can save your own life by preventing diseases like kidney disease and kidney failure. Because the, because the dialysis center put full of you all, black people that is. You know what I mean? Don't get offended. It's true. You understand? The, 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 the dialysis center is full of you all. Why it's full of you all? Because lots of us black people is eating somebody else's diet. You understand? Lots of us black people is letting other people come into our neighborhood and sell off, sell off their foods that we don't need. All other people come into our neighborhood and sell us all the alcohol that we don't need. You understand? All the other people come into our neighborhood and open all the stores and take the money out and go back into their neighborhood and their neighborhood become richer and you'll become poorer. And that's the reason why she tell you all you're going to die faster than any other people. Dig that. You like Bill Abera? Huh? Huh? Reality. You understand? Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why I tell black people every day. We have to come together. We have to look for each other. We have to make sure that our, trip, our people is alright. You understand? Because nobody cares about us. They come and tell us they want to take a vaccine now. After you put all these vaccines in black soldiers, yeah? The experiment with them after you put all this uh this uh syphilis in the indian blankets what make you feel you can trust you all now so that's what she's saying today black people have no trust why do they have no trust because they're experimenting on us on a regular they are experimenting on us daily all in africa too you understand i'm going to teach you all now follow me now your body make viruses your body make bacteria your body make parasites you understand but they never ever come on CNN and tell you all how to protect your own selves. All the, all the doctors come in there and tell you all about the vaccine and, and washing your hands and your mask and social distancing. That's what I teach you all. Huh? But none of them will come on that CNN and tell you all how to build up your own immune system. They don't do that because they, because they don't want you all to get better. You understand? All these programs on these big television station like CNN is promoted or is advertised by the, by the big pharmaceutical companies so they can never ever bring in a doctor who's going to talk different than those who get paid on a regular basis mm -hmm. dig that I'm going to show you now how to keep it healthy man because as she said to us today black people full of diabetes black people full of kidney disease mm -hmm. black people full of kidney failure black people full of lupus you understand so, if you all follow all these things, as she says, what make you feel your whole body going to fight a disease when it comes in later on? Can't. You all are sick already. You understand? You have to prevent sicknesses. You understand? Make me want to cry, man. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Come on. Okay, now. Hmm. I love black people. Black people have to learn to love themselves. You understand? We have to learn to love ourselves first before we can love anybody. Malcolm X told me we cannot integrate because integration is complete assimilation. We must have unity among ourselves first before we can unify with anybody else. Take it. All right? See, so you can't love nobody, you know. Wonderful. Now, we talked about free radicals today on a post that I made. And there was this so called Caucasian from Germany who wanted to refute what I said about free radicals. Free radicals are good. Free radicals are bad. Some bacteria are good. Some are bad. 
The parasites, some are good, some protect you, some don't. It's according to her body and your system. So we're going to learn that tonight. What is a free radical? A free radical are un unstable molecules produced naturally as a byproduct from food metabolism. So we do have free radicals in our bodies. It is made from food metabolism. So when you metabolize, free radicals form. You understand? They are there for a purpose. They can do good things for us if they're not escalating. You understand? If they're escalating, they can steal an electron and cause your electron to become impaired. And then automatically, it damages your cell's DNA. You get a disease like cancer and a virus comes, you can't fix a virus. So free radicals are on unstable molecules produced naturally as a byproduct from food metabolism. What cause free radicals? What cause free radicals? Excessive amount of free radicals. X-rays cause free radicals. Too much radiation. Ozone therapy. Too much of it cause free radicals too. And that's why when, when you get a stroke and you go into a hyperbaric chamber, if there's too much oxygen, you could pass out. You understand? It creates radicals. That's, re that's the reason why I said before. I said before that lots of people who go into gym and exercise regularly, huh? overdo it. They create oxygen-free radicals. So not because you feel you're in a gym and you're running every day, you exercise on a regular basis, you feel you're okay. You can still get cancer because you are creating oxygen-free radicals if you over-exercise. And that is a fact. You understand? Dig it. All right. <coughs> Wonderful. So x-rays can cause radicals to form. Ozone therapy can cause radi radicals to form. Chemicals from fumes of the exhaust in your car in your vehicle, when you inhale that, that also can cause free radicals. Smoking cigarettes and cigars can also cause free radicals. Air pollution can also cause free radicals. And smoke food like sausage and spam and ham and mm -hmm. corned beef can cause free radicals too. They all can cause free radicals. But your body makes them naturally from food met metabolism. You see? If they can do the right job, if you have enough of them. So if you're supposed to have 50 free radicals running around in your body and you have 150 or 5,000, 5, you're in trouble. You see, because you're supposed to have only 50. And that is what that is the reason why I was trying to explain it today on the post. That you're not supposed to have a lot of free radicals running, running around in your body. So, free radicals cause, cause x-rays, ozone, chemicals, Fumes of air from the exhaust in your vehicle, smoking cigarettes and cigars, air pollution and smoke foods like corn, beef and spam and ham and corn. What what you call it? Hold it again. Um, hot dogs, and even barbecue foods do cause free radicals. Barbecue pork, barbecue beef, barbecue this. They all cause free radicals too, and that's how you get damage of the cells long term. Because now, watch me now. Electron. Electron, electron. Free radical. Free radical over here. Electrons over here. Transporting. Yeah? Electron supposed to come like this in pairs. Yeah? That's what they're supposed to come in pairs. Once they become in pair, they get lost. And when they get lost, they can't go nowhere. They don't know to travel. That's what they call it, electron transport system. They're together. Huh? Here it comes. Here comes a free radical in excess in the body, and he comes and he steals one. And he comes again and he steals another one. Huh? He, t he steals another electron. Huh? Once he steals, keep on stealing your electron, your electron become impaired. And they can't travel. And automatically, they start damaging that free radical, start stealing the electron, start damaging your DNA. Or your cell's DNA. Mm -hmm. And that is where, that's where you get cancer from. Huh? But because you eat so bad, eating at night, eating the wrong food, eating somebody else's diet on a regular basis, all them people who come into your neighborhood eating their foods, 
You don't eat the food that you grow or what you eat or what you grow to grow to eat and eat what you grow. You don't do that. Mm -hmm. So automatically, because his food don't belong into you, you start to create more food radicals, the soy sauce and the MSG eh? and the ramen. You understand? Kill your organs mm -hmm. eventually. Mm -hmm. So you can never ever, you can never ever have good electron transport system now. So then all the free radicals come, they steal. And they steal. Huh? So when they steal, what happens to you? You put your DNA or your, the cells of your DNA at risk of getting cancer. So anything coming to your body, you can never fix it because you are in pain, you are in balance. That's common sense. Right? Let's go to that now. Next one. I'm, I'm trying to teach people, man. What kills free radicals? Free radicals are killed by what we call antioxidants. Over here. That's an antioxidant right there. Hmm? This is an antioxidant right here. This here is an antioxidant. Grape seed extract. Selenium. Vitamin C. They're all antioxidants. They prevent oxidation. Because free radicals do create oxidation in the body. And that's the reason why you get sick long term. Because once you have oxidation, you are going to create more free radicals. Yeah? Now, let's talk about selenium. Because I talked about mm -hmm. selenium today. The farmers today, in this environment today, is putting chemicals in the soil. And because they're using all these chemicals, the next person, the next farmer, who is doing natural farming, pollen drift from that particular farmer who's putting chemicals in the soil, that same pollen drift could drift far away and get into the next farmer's huh, soil that is doing organically grown foods. Follow. The soil is supposed to be full of selenium, but because the soil is depleted, you can never ever find this more, this more, more than the most antioxidant in the, in, in, in the environment. Selenium, that is. Because the soil is depleted mm -hmm. of selenium. So he is an, what we call a free radical scavenger. You understand? Or the free radical want to scavenge your electrons? He will scavenge your free radicals. But because the soil is so depleted, because of so much chemicals that is put in the soil, the soil, the earth, the earth system, the earth can never ever produce or give you minerals or trace elements because the farmers is messing it up with the chemicals. So he plant, put chemicals in the soil. And after years of being bombarded with chemicals, your soil can never give you the minerals and your body will suffer. That's why you have to supplement. Dig it, eh? Wonderful. From certified organic. Certified organic. Certified organic. What kills free radicals? Antioxidant. They are chemicals that can interact and neutralize radicals. Free radicals, that is. Huh? Re, re preventing these free radicals from causing damage to our cells' DNA. That's what antioxidants do. You could get them from your foods. Your food's supposed to have them. Your, 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 your vegetables supposed to have Look at them over here. See them here? That's antioxidants. All of them here. Antioxidants. See them? Antioxidants. Antioxidants. Not beef and pork and ham and, and, and turkey and salt fish. Antioxidants. These are anti have antioxidants. This have selenium. Okra have selenium. If the soil is good. Eh? That's where you get all your selenium from. Selenium is the most abundant antioxidant beside glutathione. Look at them right here. This is your antioxidants right here. That's what God gave you to eat in the beginning. Them, them here. Not the pork and the beef and the ham. And the sausage. Take that. Wonderful. So, antioxidants. They are chemicals that can, ent can, can interact and neutralize radicals or free radicals preventing these free radicals from causing damage to your cell dna and once your cell dna is damaged you're going to get cancer long term now nobody nobody talking about cancer now <clears throat> nobody is talking about cancer no nobody 
is talking about her disease now. Although her disease kills three quarter of a million people in America every year, everybody don't forget about that. Although cancer is the second leading cause of death in America, over 500,000 people die from cancer every year. Everybody forget about that. Hmm? Everybody forget about the third leading cause of death in America, which is drug to drug interaction from doctors. Huh? Everybody talking about coronavirus, but nobody's talking about heart disease and cancer. Huh? Nobody's talking about that now. You see what I'm saying? But there, those, those two or three things is the most the leading cause of death in America today. But everybody put it under the table, and they have the reason why. Dig it, huh? Wonderful. Let's go again. Our body make antioxidants that is used to neutralize these free radicals. What is, I want a nurse or a doctor who is talking, who is listening to tell me what is the antioxidant that the body makes. Huh? That is used to, to neutralize free radicals when they are forming or they are ex escalating in our bodies. The body make free radicals. Our body make antioxidants, sorry, and they make free radicals also, but they also make antioxidants. Yeah? The most abundant ant antioxidant is what, Shanti? The most antioxidant in the body is glutathione, made by your liver. The most antioxidant in the body that is made to protect you from cancer is called Glutathione. Follow me. The body makes antioxidant to neutralize these free radicals. You understand? They don't teach you that on CNN. You understand? You know what I mean? Huh? You need NAC. You need this here to replenish your glutathione. Because lots of the companies who is making glutathione in this in this form, in capsule form, is garbage. You understand? Because it is very difficult to absorb glutathione from capsules. Because the body makes it. But because people are eating so bad and the liver is all messed up, you're not making enough glutathione, so we give you knack in order Mm -hmm. Fanaka to replenish your glutathione. That's number one. Number two, if you are taking chemotherapy, we give you NAC also to help to replenish your glutathione so that your chemotherapy can kill your bad cells while these are keeping your good cells healthy. You have to teach your doctors these things because they know nothing about nutrition, you know. Wonderful. So we know for a fact that our body makes make antioxidants that is used to neutralize these free radicals that is trying to harm us. That is trying to scavenge or steal an electron from the electron transport system. <laughs> Follow me, right? Now, when you are transporting, electron transport, they're moving. They're moving. They're moving. Now, each organ have cells. Doctors can do that either now. Each organ have cells. You have a transport system moving. And Dr. Bulbrick always said to the doctors, he says, if you doctors, you big oncologists and pathologists, and all these big names you give all these specialist doctors, if they can send that, that cell back to the resting place, they will fix cancer. But because they do not know how to do that, they can have no cure for cancer. They, only can, they can only treat cancer, but they cannot cure cancer. But the body heal itself. So, you have an electron. You have a cell. This cell belongs to your lung. This cell is supposed to keep you breathing. Huh? This cell is deposited in your lung. He goes here. Hmm? He's supposed to keep you breathing. This cell belong in your liver. Hmm? He's supposed to keep the enzyme intact. In Call them Kerfer cells. Mm -hmm. huh? It's like a SWAT team, macrophages down here in your liver. Huh? Now, this cell 
is your lung cell. This cell is your liver cell. This cell, because of the free radical damage to your body, this cell is, is got lost. He got lost because the electron transport system is all impaired. He get lost. The lung, the cell, the lung cell get lost, and he end up where in your liver. So he now supposed to be here to keep you breathing. He's down here in your liver now. Huh? Your liver don't need a lung cell. What is your lung cell doing in your liver? Your lung cell is supposed to be in your lung to keep you breathing. But because you eat so bad, and the free radicals damage your, your, your system so much, that your, that your cell DNA become messed up. Huh? All the nucleus in the, in the DNA, gone. So the cells become lost. And this cell, which is supposed to be in your lung, end up in your liver. And because he is not a liver cell, he goes into your liver and he disrupts the function of your liver and he forms a colony there. Huh? But in order to fix him, you got to move him back and put him back in your lung. <laughs> and then you fix it. The body's wise. Let me go. Simple mathematics now. All right? Do the body make bacteria? Yes. Do the body make bacteria? Nurses? Yes. How? From sugar, water, and nitrogen. Our body makes bacteria from sugar, water, and nitrogen. That's chemistry. Huh? God is the biggest chemistry, chemist in, in the world. Jehovah God. The biggest scientist is Jehovah God. I don't depend on no man for wisdom. I go to the most high for that. Do the body make bacteria? Yes, it does. How? From sugar, water, and nitrogen. Bacteria and energy is produced from this here. Hmm? Bacteria and energy is produced from sugar, water, and nitrogen. And that's the reason why they said to you when you use sugars, you have, you're supposed to have energy. Yeah, hey brother? Because sugar goes up and out. See? So if you need to have to make bacteria, you need sugar, water, and nitrogen. Between these three, bacteria is formed with energy. Bacteria are formed well in your gut, in your mouth, in your nose, and in your skin. Come over here, son. Bacteria are formed here. They're right here. That's where they're at. 80% of the cells is inside here, fighting for you. This is, the suit. this is the garbage collector right here. 80% of your cell is in your gut. 80% of them. Huh? Why are they in the gut? Because this, this is where all the, all the stuff happens. Process. Processing, assimilation, absorption, elimination. See? They're here. Now, they're supposed to be here for a purpose. So even though they die, and they come along in your bowels to have a bowel movement, they still work for you. Bacteria, that is. They still make your B12. They make your malic acid. They make your vitamin K. You know, to keep you clotting. Bacteria is formed from what? Water and nitrogen. Huh? Eh? And sugar. Yeah? Now, when the bacteria is here, he makes your B12, he makes your malic acid, he makes your vitamin K. Yeah? But if you have, if you have, if you have him, if you have the bubble all messed up with waste sitting in the earth system over here, the bad bacteria that is from the waste products or waste material that you just ate a while ago and been there for four days, he overtakes the good guys that work for you. Even though the good guys, are, they're dead, when they come down here, they still make your B vitamins. They still make your B12. They still make your malic acid because they're good for you. So the body makes bacteria. And most of the bacteria is found in your gut. Yeah? But if you are creating free radicals in the body, excessive amount of mucus in the body, excessive amount of parasites, excessive amount of bacteria, the, the bad bacteria going to escalate in here and he is going to overtake the good guy that work for you and when he does that he goes he try to goes in right here in the membranes of the colon area he want to get in the bad bacteria like this he wants to get in, in the in the membranes the membranes are smart because the body's wise working properly so the so the membranes start to produce excessive amount of mucus from here to prevent the bad bacteria from entering inside there when that happens, that's good, but you get mucus colitis and mucus in your stool. That brother? <laughs> that brother, man. God damn. God is good, bro. <laughs> Dig it. Huh? So that's where you get mucus colitis from. That's where you get Crohn's disease from. That's where you get all these eyelitis from. 
vent, uh, uh, what? The diverticulitis farm, IBS farm, bad bacteria in your gut. So, the body makes bacteria from sugar, water, and nitrogen, and the bacteria, huh? Energy is produced mm -hmm. from bacteria. Mm -hmm. huh? Wonderful. From, from sugar. Well, let's go again. Bacteria are found where? Gut, mouth, and skin, and nose. So we have, so we make bacteria too. Do the body produce parasites? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. That's why a lot of people, when they have excessive amount of parasites, they lose weight. Because the parasites eat your foods for you. Excessive amount of parasites. Mm -hmm. You have all of them here. Look at them here. Protozoa. You have echo, e e echo parasites. Hel hel helmentis parasites. Wrong worm. Wrong worm. Pinworm. Wrong worm. Pinworm. Hookworm. Treadworm. <laughs> Say your belly. <laughs> Come again, sir. <laughs> Come here, sir. <laughs> Let me show you that. Parasite, look at that. See what they are? Right here. Right there. See them? See them there? And when they come over here, the parasite that is, they eat up all your foods. And they start to escalate and they form and they hook on, on your intestines. They hook there. Especially from the pork that you eat on a regular basis. Pork, pork, pork. The bad old nasty beasts. It, it, when you eat them, it, it hook up on your, on your intestines. You can't let go. Eh? And it's very difficult to kill them when they're escalating. But when they hook on there, we use herbs to kill them off. So they, they, they get right around the cecum over here. Parasite does that. And then they, they, they affect your ileocecal valve. Then the valve can't close properly. If your valve cannot close properly because you're supposed to have food coming, waste coming in here, the valve stays open, it affects your gallbladder. You get gallbladder congestion. Because they work together as one entity. So all the parasites come here. And when you have food sitting in here for days and weeks, you don't go to the bathroom on a regular basis. You go to the bathroom once per week, twice per week, three days per week, once per month. You're crazy. You're going to get parasites. And they're going to cause the, 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 the toxins to get back into your liver. Right here. Into the hepatic flexure. Back into your liver. Back into your gallbladder. Back into your heart. And give you a warm attack. God damn. Hey, man. And you only, you only figure where you all getting sick. Yeah? The body produces parasites. Look at them right here. That's what it produces. But you have to look at the full moon. And you must do a parasitic cleanse every three months to get rid of parasites that will harm you long term. Does the body produce viruses? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Viruses is always present in our body. Especially in our gut. Over here again, son. <laughs> oh, the afraid of viruses. Viruses are found on here too. Viruses is in the gut. That's why people say you have what we call intestinal viruses. That's why we have a product called uh, Healthy Kit Compound. And it prevents disease in children. It prevents intestinal viruses. Because the body have them daily. They're here. Yeah? But you're supposed to have a system that's supposed to kill them off if they are in excess. But because you eat so bad and you have food sitting in the earth system for so long that you can't kill a virus because you have your cells come in one place to protect you and leave your, the other part of your body vulnerable. So all your cells come over here because you say, oh man, Patrick, you have me all messed up over here. All the junk is over here. I got to come over here. So all your cells leaving over there, still so in the bloodstream and come over here to protect you. But they leave the bloodstream on, they leave the bloodstream vulnerable. They leave your liver vulnerable. They leave your heart vulnerable. You understand? Huh? Because they all come into the sewage system now. You have to keep this clean. That's it. In order for the other body, the other organ to breathe better. This organ here must be clean. Must be cleaned. Huh? In order for your liver to breathe better. In order for your gallbladder to breathe better. In order for your heart to breathe better. In order for the mammary glands of the breast to breathe to, to have better health in a woman. In, in order for a woman to prevent fibroids, she must have good bowel health. She must remove excessive amount of estrogen. Huh? In order for her to prevent PCOS. In order for her to prevent fibroids. In order for her to prevent lupus. In order for her to prevent uterine cancer and breast cancer and, uterine and, and ovarian cancer and viruses. 
but viruses are found in the gut. <laughs> They're in the gut. But your body know how to neutralize them. We're going to show you how to, what they do now. Let me fool you all, man. Right? So, does the body produce viruses? Yes. Viruses is always present in our bodies daily, daily, especially in our gut. That's where they are. How do the body kill a virus? That's what they don't teach you all. The activation of phagocytes used by our antibodies can eradicate viruses. The anti activation of phagocytes used by our antibodies can eradicate viruses. I want to use the word eradicate. I'm going to put a little thing on it. Eradicate. Eradicate viruses. A virus bound to an antibody binds to a receptor. Remember we said that receptors, hormones are messengers and receptor receives the messages of the hormones. So viruses bind to your receptors to get into your cell. Hmm? Dig it. Right? Viruses, activation of the phagocytes used by our antibodies can eradicate viruses. A virus bound, bound to antibody, but I don't, to antibody, to an antibody, bind to a receptor on the surface of the phagocytic cell. Huh? Did you follow me? And when that happens, it triggers the phagocytosis, which will or can engulf and destroy that virus. Nurses are my line. Doctors who want to see and then come and tell me I'm lying now. How do the body kill a virus? The activation of the phagocytosis used by our antibodies can eradicate a virus. A virus bound antibody binds to a receptor on the surface of the phagocytic cell huh? and triggers the phagocytosis which engulf and destroy a virus. That's the job of these guys. Them here. Phagocytosis. When they when your phagocytosis engulf and destroy a cell, your same T helper cell will come in and it will tell your cells if the virus is dead, it tells your cell to stop firing the chemicals that these white blood cells, called B cells, start firing. If they don't stop, or it's called T suppressor cells, they tell the T suppressor cells, come to your phagocytosis and says, yo, you kill the virus, I want you to stop. Because if you don't stop, you are going to kill that individual because you are an army. So if you don't stop and firing these chemicals, you are going to fire these chemicals so much that that individual is going to die from your chemicals. So you have to stop. That's how it works in God way, not man way. Huh? So your T suppressor cells come and it tells the phagocytosis and the, and the, and the white blood cells or the cytotoxic cells and, and the B or the, the T cells and the NK cells say, listen, you kill that sucker now. I want you to stop. Because if you don't stop, you're going to kill the person by giving them lupus. Because that's what lupus is. That is what muscular dystrophy is. That is what celeridoma is. That is what all the autoimmune diseases are. Your immune system is firing at your joints, at your heart, at your kidney, hmm? at your muscles. Because he ain't have no choice because you're being abusing him on a regular basis. So that is how they function. The suppressor cells come and stop the guys. 
from killing you after the virus is dead. After the virus is dead, we have something called a T B memory set. And you have to see T helper cells. Don't forget them, T helper cells, suppressor cells, and B memory cells. That B memory cell, God is great. It comes in and it memorizes the virus. The virus can never come back in. If it come back in, your B cell song will alarm and he can kill that virus before it come back in again. And that's the reason why they tell you that when you get a call today and you get a call next month, it's not the same virus because the same one can come back in. But if you have an RNA, RNA virus that keep on mutating, it could come back in different forms. So you could come and get one virus now, and then about another month again, you're gone, you get another one because it is, it is, it is what we call mutated. But the body is wise. You, if the body is, is at peak, no virus can fool your immune system if it's in balance. Let me show you how. Wonderful. What is the job of the immune system? What is the job of the immune system? Our immune system is to protect our body from outside invaders such as bacteria, parasites, fungi, viruses, toxins from chemicals, eh? or what we call environmental toxins. That is, the, that is the job of the immune system. How come I don't hear them boy talking about on CNN? About that on CNN? How come? I don't hear teaching you all these things. Huh? The job of the immune system is to protect our body from outside invaders such as bacteria, parasites, fungi, viruses, toxins, or chemicals. That's their job. Huh? And if by any chance any one of them come in, God created another system to kill them. That is why if you are a believer, you're supposed to know that God, Jehovah God, made this body to live forever. He never meant us to die. You understand? That's why he put this system in there to protect us from all these guys. And if by chance we get one of them, we might get sick. But if we are in balance, the sickness is going to last for one to two days. And while we are sick, the body is going to fight for us and kill these chemicals. These kids, these criminals, man. That's how it's supposed to work. But people eat so bad, man. Yeah? Our immune system is made up of different cells, organs, and glands, and even proteins. That work what? I want you all to write that down here for me. Our immune system is made up of different cells, organs, and glands, and even liver, and even um, organ, and even um, and proteins, because antibodies are proteins now, that work together as one entity. <laughs> How it works, man. Our immune system is made up of different cells, organs, glands, and proteins that work together as one entity. As one Huh? One entity, the immune system, recognizes the antigen and got rid of these invaders. Our B lymphocytes are now triggered to make antibodies or immunoglobulins, they call them. Antibodies are called immunoglobulins, which are, which are proteins that lock on to these antigens and kill them off. God damn. Huh? That's how they work. That's how they work. If they're in balance. Because they work together as one entity. And even though you kill the virus, huh? Your phagocytosis, look around and watching for them and say, I see one over here, like he got away. I'm going to kill him off. He looks for one cell of virus that's trying to move around and get away. And he finds him if they work together. And when he finds him, he will gobble him up, engulf him, and kill him off. <laughs> Man. Over here again for me, son, son. I can ride there. 
Look at right there. The immune system recognize the antigen and get rid of these invaders. Our B lymphocytes are now triggered to make antibodies, or what we call Im immunoglobulins or proteins, huh? that lock onto these antigens, lock them up and hold them off. They can never go anywhere once these organs and these immune of the cells are working together in one as one entity. Once the, 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 the cells, the organs, or the proteins, what if antibodies, are working together as one entity, ain't nobody could kill you. They murder us. They will murder for you. Huh? But you eat in the morning. You eat in the afternoon. You eat in the evening. You eat at night. Huh? You don't give the body a break. You eat every day. From infancy. You chuck in everything on your throat, in the stomach, and tell it, shut up, take it. Huh? And then one day in the stomach give you a little problem. And you run to a doctor. And they give you some pills. You feel better. And you go back, doing the same thing again. It comes back. Until one day, the organs lock you up. Or give you a sickness. You understand? Or they put you in jail for a while. Because they can do that. They have the ability to do, to do that too. And your immune system, we're supposed to protect you, says to you after a while, Listen, Jane, Thomas, you think I'm a joke. You've been taking me for granted. Just like the woman and the man take the man and the woman for granted too. And do them any kind of thing until she leaves him or he leaves her. Happens every day in life, men and women. You understand? The same thing happens in your body. These glands and organs say, you know what? I'm going to mess you up. And your immune system says, I am tired of you abusing me. And you don't feed me nothing that will take care of me. No vitamin C, no B6, no zinc. That autumn you're eating every day. Every single day, three to four people eat food per day. Cooked foods. Cooked foods. Cooked foods. Cooked foods. Nothing wrong. Yeah? And he's saying to you, please feed me some nutrients. I want some minerals so I can buffer your pH. You ain't feeding them nothing. So all of a sudden, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years down the line, you run to the doctor with your heart all messed up. You run to the, to the oncologist with cancer in your brain, on your breast, on your liver, on your stomach, hmm, on your foot, in your leg, in your eye, in your nose, in your mouth, in your throat, in your esophagus. Yeah? And then you want to run and try to fix it then. Now you want to pay him attention now. After you don't messed up for 30, 40 years. You want to turn around now and pay him attention and feel that he gonna fix you in two weeks and two months and five months. It don't work like that. You've been messing up your immune system for 30 years. Huh? And 40 years. And 20 years. Because now the younger people are getting cancer now. Huh? So what makes you feel you gonna fix it in two months? Huh? After 40 years of abuse. Tell me. Huh? When the man abuse, you don't give him the, they don't give him five years in prison. He get twenty years sometimes in prison for abusing his woman, huh? For beating up his woman and busting up, or stabbing her. He make twenty years in prison or ten years in prison for that, huh? So your immune system put you in prison with cancer, and after five years or three years, he, the oncologist, tell you, go back and eat anything. And you go back in your own environment, eating the same foods that gave you the same cancer, and then your immune system says to you, he said, well, hold your blood, blood, blood. Because now you're dead. He takes your life. And he killed himself. He commits suicide. Because he wasn't listening to what he was telling you. He gave you symptoms. He make you get high blood pressure. You still want to eat the pork. You still want to eat the fries. He give you diabetes. You still want to eat the sweets. Huh? He give you kidney disease. You still want to go and mess your kidney by eating all the heavy proteins. Huh? And then when he put you on, when he give you a kidney failure, you start to pee and pee in bubbles, and all of a sudden, you have to go on dialysis. Because you were abusing your kidney. You abuse your heart. You abuse your, your liver. You abuse your pancreas. So you can't blame them. I mean, you can't. Because 
you were taught the wrong way. You were taught to eat wrong. You were taught to eat three and four meals per day. Not giving them a break. You know what I mean? I don't eat no vegetables. I don't like vegetables. That's your life. Vegetables is your life. That's what God gave you to eat in the beginning. You have to go that route. And when you go that route, these guys will work for you. They're going to be your friends. They're going to be your buddy. And they will take care of you properly. Mm -hmm. And you will get sick. Because you can't get sick. I could get sick from a virus too. I'm not infallible. And before people come and say, you feel you can't get sick. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, I can. I do get sick sometimes. I do. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because if you don't get sick, you might get out of me because your system is not working properly. It, 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 it just it do nothing. You must get sick. Be a human being, be imperfect. But when I get sick, it don't last for no three and four weeks. One day, two days, gone. Because my immune system is my friend. And I keep him being my friend. I, I send my organs on a vacation. I, I send my liver to Hawaii. I send my heart to California. I send my kidney to Orlando on a vacation. You know, I feed him a lot of water. I feed him a lot of coconut water. My liver, I give him a vacation. And I feed him dandelion root and Oregon or or grape root. I feed my liver, eh, barberry and boldo. Vacation. My intestines, eh, I rest them. I give them a vacation. Eh? I take them to the moon and back. Long travel. Keep them rested. And they say, okay, Patrick, you're my friend. Mm -hmm. I love you. I say, I love you too. And now they say, no, because I love you so much, because you are taking care of me properly, I will take care of you. Good. Just like how a man takes care of his woman. Eh? And she loves him to death. You understand? In the same way, they, these organs will love you to death if you take care of them properly. And you, you, you give them a vacation. They will take care of you. You understand? Let's look at a few herbs. We talk about parasites, we talk about we talk about antiviral, we talk about parasites, we talk about antiviral, we talk about antibacterial. Huh? Now, God put lots of plants on the earth for us to use. And they come in different forms. We have pectorals, we have antiviral, we have antibacterial, we have the, the parasitic plants, we have adenine plants, we have astringent plants, we have the mulsion plants. So what we do to, to help to, to increase the function of the immune system, we use what we call antiviral plants. Plants that will help us to build up the immune system or keep the immune system strong. Now if you have lupus or you have any kind of, any kind of autoimmune diseases, it is not good to build up your immune system again because it is, it is already overactive. So you have to use plants that act as amputeric to balance back your immune system because it's, it is overactive. Right? We use... Show me here. Rose hips. Lots of vitamin C. Pay vitamin C. Rose hips. Lots of it. You all don't use it though. Yeah? Oranges. Yeah? Lots of vitamin C. Show me here. Anybody from the Caribbean? I know a lot of Caribbean people looking at this at this, at this live. Caribbean people, where's all your ginger beer? Huh? That you always make when you always was in the Caribbean. Where it is? Hot like fire. Huh? Good for your lung. Hmm? And we know that we know for a fact that the flu goes into your nose, in your lung, in your throat. Huh? They tell you all prepare for the flu. How much you gonna kill this year? Huh? But you all know you all, you all born in the Caribbean. Why you all leave your all tradition over there and come over here doing the wrong thing? Still have your ginger beer. Make it. Drink it. Make it hot. It keep your bone hot, warm, but it also protect your lung. Use them. Disclaimer, we're not here to fix anything or to cure anything. We're just giving you advice before they come and take my videos down. Drink all your ginger beers. Eh? You, all, you all leave all these things that the children you all have in the Caribbean and come over here and eat in the pork chopped and the night food and the TV dinners. No. Make all your ginger beer. Make all your sorrel. 
Stop using the sugar. Put stevia or, or molasses or honey. You know what I mean? Or maple syrup. You need the sugar alone. You know, use them. Make them hot. Uh, fire. Hot. See? I walk in my ginger beer. I still do it. <laughs> you understand? Because you know why? Because that's how we grew up. And when we grew up that way, the older folks will tell you, if you're 50 and over, you look at my program, you know for a fact what our parents used to do for us to keep us healthy. Why you all leave it alone, man? <laughs> Are you all dying in America? <laughs> Come on. Eh? And the doctor said today that black people gonna die the most because we have more diseases. We have more diabetes, she says. We have more... <laughs> she said we have more kidney disease. We have more... Oh uh, boy, she said we have more kidney failure because all the dialysis centers full of black people and the, the, all the centers are owned by us. Them owners, they own, they, they, they all, they all Jews, so-called Jews and Indian people own them places. We don't own it, but we fooling them up. Huh? When we gonna stop? Huh? Come Shanti, bless the love, man. Hmm. All these plants, got to use them. Put them in your diet every day. Eh? Elderberry, elderberry, elderflower. Eh? Myrrh and frankincense. Eh? It's a wonderful plant for when you have trouble in your gums. And you have receding gums. This herb is good for that. Myrrh, frankincense, peppermint all together. Gargle with them. Eh? Your mouth have bacteria. Gargle with them. Keep the bacteria out of getting in your throat. You know what I'm saying? You can do these things. They're not they're there. That's what our forefathers taught us to do. But we're depending on the chemical man, man. You know? You don't know the chemical man, but at the end of the day, you can never make use a chemical to fix something that natural. It can't happen, though. Yeah? Use your golden seal. Antibacterial. CD4 cells build up. It build up your CD4 cells. Plus, it, it works on your, on your lymphatic system. And that's where you hold your macrophages and your T lymphoid sites in your lymphatic system. Brush your skin, sweat in the shower in the night time. Open your hot water and let's jump around and sweat. You're waking up your lymphatic system. That when use these herbs, you will see a difference in your immune system because they are your protectors and your healers and your killers. They kill for you if you keep them as your friend and your lover. Oh, black people, man. Oh. I care about me, Patrick Dell. I care about all people. I love all people. But I, Patrick Dells, have a special love for black people. For my people. There's nothing wrong with that. You understand? You understand? There's nothing wrong with me. You know, trying to come to my people to tell them, listen, they're messing you all up. There's nothing wrong with that. And who don't like it? Rock! Take yourself out of the video now. That's how it is. So I function. Because I see in the black community, we are dying from kidney disease. We are dying from kidney failure. We are dying from diabetic complication. We are dying from heart disease and high blood pressure. Give her the right, the doctor that is, to come and see CNN today and tell CNN that black people go to doctors and doctors brush them off and say, it's all in your mind. And because the doctors tell us black people that, we say we don't go to doctors no more. Huh? And because we are full of diseases in the black community, because more than these so-called Caucasian people, huh? we're going to die faster with this, with this what the pandemic, so-called pandemic they have coming out from the fall to January. They're predicting we're going to die. Us black people are going to die more. Now I have a problem with that. So I come to you and say to you, listen, do not eat in the night time. Leave food alone at night. Go on programs. Huh? Huh? Make your organs work for you. Huh? Clean them up. Detoxify them. Forget about waiting on a vaccine. That ain't gonna happen right now because one man does die from the trials in, in Brazil. And more won't die. Because it's not natural. Your body naturally does that for you. Protect you. You know what I'm saying? And they're saying to us now because we been fooled, black people that have been fooled for so long, we afraid the vaccine. Because they've been experimenting on black people from since in the 60s. 
So what make me feel like them is we friend right now? Blessed and love. The herbs are right here. Huh? You understand? The herbs are right here. The herbs are right here. Eh? Ambrosia Health Food Store. Nah. Huh? 718-469-0985. Get your herb on your we have programs coming up. We put programs together for pe our people to follow. Oh God, stay from food and, and beef and, and meat and all this flesh food for a couple of days, a week. You can't do that. Please. I'm begging all you. Come on, man. Leave the fast food alone for a little while. You know what I mean? Build up yourself. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you won't see how you won't feel. Because all the people in our, in our group come chat with Patrick Dells, they're amazed. They are amazed. When we put them on a program, they feel better. Hmm? They don't want to stop. And if we can have three, four, five people getting better, all the angels will rejoice when one person comes to the most high God. And one is, oh my goodness, he comes. Huh? Maxine Murray, bless her love. Ask her, COPD, ask her how she's feeling now with herbs. This thing right here. Ask her how she's feeling. She was a machine. Ask her, Maxine Murray, ask her. You're on the life, darling, I love you. Ask them how they feel. Ask them how they feel. We're changing how they eat and program and using mm. herbs. Ask them. And they just see what PD can fix. Huh? Yeah, right. The body heal itself. Very good. Wonderful. Now we have, um, we are going to do a video, but it's not live, on the products that we have that I made myself. It's, it's, I have well, 32 formulas. I just, I just made a formula for children called Children's Health. And I just made another formula for the joint called Joint Health. We just, we just enhanced on daily detox. So what I did was I added some more Chinese, some more Chinese herb, yeah, in here, and more herb for the liver to help the liver to produce more bile. So when you, when you are using the daily detox, when you get out in the environment, it helps to, to eliminate waste regularly. You won't be having a diarrhea, but you will be going to the bathroom every day. So I put in some more plants. I add more plants in this daily detox to help to give it a better spectrum on how the body works. Yeah? All right? Then we have the cold and the flu. Yeah? Everybody's telling us when they use the cold and the flu, they bring up mucus like crazy. Mucus, mucus, mucus. You know what I mean? Because we are using plants that God put on this earth for us to use. Yeah? Go in Songs of Solomon and go to chapter 3, verses 7, and read herbs inside it. Huh? Bam of Gilead and all of them. Huh? Then we have the burdock red root compound for the lymphatic system. Drain it. We have isatis. We have ultimate echinacea for laryngitis. You know, um, uh, uh, um, uh, tonsillitis. All the itis in the throat, in the, in the lung. They're good for that, but you only use them. And when you're using these plants, all the for if you're gonna buy these formulas, I'm gonna make a video tomorrow. These formulas go by diet change, so you can't afford to use a diabetic formula and eat a lot of uh, uh, sweets. You can't afford to buy a healthy heart formula and eat a lot of fried food for your heart. But it's terrible. You can't afford to buy a circulation formula. And eating greasy foods. It ain't gonna work. So that's the reason why I have a book coming out. It's a pamphlet that I created on all the formulas that I made. And it tells you how they work. What the contraindications are. What the additional recommendations are. And how they work into your system. So when you buy a product from Patrick Dells. HolisticHealing.com And you buy, the, you buy the pamphlet. The pamphlet will tell you what you buy and how it works into your system and what you can do to implement or enhance what these things are doing. You're not gonna just buy them and use them, it doesn't work like that. So that's why education is very significant, okay? So we're gonna do a video on the formulas and how they work and we're gonna teach you and educate you and when you buy them, what you can do additionally to help them to work for you, yeah? Blessed love, 718-469-0985, Ambrosia Health Food Store, 3306 Church Avenue. My Facebook page is Patrick Dells and my website is Patrick Dells Holistic Healing.com. Blessed love and give thanks and praises to the most of Jehovah God. Give thanks. Bless. Come on. Ready to go, Shanty?
for all your formulas. Come to Ambrosia Health Foods. And I just support black businesses. When the black man who is, have wisdom go up, he can pull up somebody else to help them at the same time. That is the purpose of man, but that is the purpose of our people. Eh? If they have good business head and heart, and they have good wisdom, they will know when they rise, they could pull up another brother and make him equal to them. Bottom line. Thank you.